Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Electricity and we're here to look into the human body voltage around sparks and the reason why we're going to do this is because earlier this week David Blaine did his experiment called Electrified where he got into a Faraday suit and was shocked for three days and three nights, 72 hours in total, by Tesla coils. I was kind of mortified to see that he would do that, but you know, it was his choice to get into the suit and get hit by those coils. And we're going to look into what that does to the human body voltage. And this is an area I've been extensively researching, and it was primarily done to research the toxic aspects of the electrical system, which uh, have been emerging over the last few decades. So to set up this experiment, what we've done is we pan around. We actually have this car ignition system over here. This costs about $40 to make. And we have a spark plug down here. So this is going to be our stand-in for a Tesla coil. Uh, you need to be very careful working with spark plugs because you can get quite a nasty shock off them. And they do a lot of weird things to the environment around them. I'm, I'm going to show you what it does to the body voltage. So let's make sure we can see the oscilloscope screen and the spark plug. And we also have a AC voltage meter right here. So to do this experiment, I'm going to show you what you need. You need a battery-powered oscilloscope. You need a battery-powered meter that reads AC volts. And you need a non-electrified ground connection. And you can see that we've got the ground connection of the battery oscilloscope connected to this and also of the AC electrical meter. So that's where our ground connection is. So here's the tip of the oscilloscope. And we also have the tip of our AC lead. So let's see what the AC meter is doing. So put my finger on the AC meter, it reads zero. And I should mention that I am actually standing in slippers right now and I'm not touching anything. So I'm actually insulated from everything around me. So the only place I'm gonna get any exposure from is my surrounding uh, right now. So we can see that there doesn't seem to be any measurable exposure with the AC meter. Let's have a look at the oscilloscope. And this is why you, the oscilloscope always tells you a different story and it's why you should have an oscilloscope. So, so it's got a little bit of ripple on it, but it's not much. Yeah, it's pretty much flat lined. So let's turn on our spark plug and repeat the measurements. So we've got this ignition system, it's going to start firing off sparks. You're going to hear the clicks of the system that's firing off the sparks. And we need to power it up. Okay, so we've now got sparks coming out of the spark plug. So let's see what's going on now. So our AC meter still reads zero. Let's see what the oscilloscope is doing. So you can see there's all kinds of spikes on my body right now. And again, the only thing I'm touching right now is the tip of this probe. So those spikes are coming from the ignition system. And let me, let me hold this with this hand. And I'm going to put my hand near to the spark plug. And I don't advise you to repeat this experiment because you can get shocked by doing this. But, you know, I've been working with electrical systems for a long time. Now, I can actually feel the pulses of the spark plug right now. I can feel my hand tingling. And you can see that it's got very, very large. The body voltage. Now, if I move away, it drops down. So the problem with David Blaine's Faraday suit is that it was literally just inches from his skin. In fact, I think he may have actually been touching the Faraday suit. I don't, I'm not too sure whether he was, he was actually insulated from it. So 
I want to make it clear that this is not a Tesla coil spark. This is quite different from a Tesla coil spark. That spark plug is firing off sparks constantly. And you may not be able to see them. I, I can see them from here, but the video camera may not be picking it up. And uh, I, I can tell you that they're there. You can see them. You can see them on the display. So these sparks are much, much milder than what David Blaine got exposed to. These sparks are probably in the range of thousands of volts uh, coming out of this spark plug. David Blaine's sparks were in the millions of volts. And there was a lot more power content to those sparks. And he had three days exposure to them. And it's very, very interesting that I can actually feel this in my hand. The closer I put my hand to this, the more intense the feeling gets. I can feel my nerves getting tingly. And I'm quite sure David Blaine was having the same experience when he was in his suit. And this is what it does to the body voltage. So it'll be exposing every single system in the human body and mind to these electromagnetic pulses and they are very much distance related. So, there we go. So this is, what, this is what happens when you work around ignition systems, anything that produces sparks. They're all giving out wideband radio emissions that couple in to the human body. And who knows what a long-term exposure to this would do to you over 72 hours, but we appear to be in the process of finding that out. So we're going to watch our magician, David Blaine, and uh, I hope he hasn't been damaged by this exposure. But if he has, we're going to learn what exactly 72 hours of exposure to Tesla coils does to the human body. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.